kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on smart selfie app with face detection and stickers using Android Studio. All right, guys. So now, from onwards, I will be creating the new project and working on it. Uh, and this series will have, uh, I mean, only seven or eight videos. Okay. So let's get started. So, uh, as you know that in uh, in my demo, I have I've already told you that we will be only uh, creating this project with only two activities. Okay, the main activity and the edit activity. So in main activity, what we are going to do is we will uh, display the camera and uh, user will be able to capture his image. After he click on the button, then the we will send the image to our edit activity class. All right. So first of all, we will create uh, we will create the main activity. As you know that I already have created the project. So first of all, we without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, we need to go to Android Manifest, and here I have already entered the permission. So there is we have the right external storage for storing the image uh, uh, to the phone directory. I mean, okay, internal directory, and then we we will be requiring the camera permission to display the camera and access it. Okay. On a device, so uh, let's go to our main activity, and here you are able to see the linear layout. We uh, we will need to set the orientation to vertical, and here we will have a frame layout on which we will be uh, doing. I mean, we will be adding the surface view to that frame layout. Okay, so the let's say we have this frame layout, and we set the width to match parent, and let me set the height to zero dp because we will uh, be requiring the weight, and we will be using the weight. And here I have given the weight one to this frame layout, and here we also need some ID for that frame layout, so we can say frame layout ID. Okay, so inside our frame lay, okay, so after uh, this frame layout, we are going to have the image button here, and it will be wrap content. And the height will also be right wrap content. Then we can set the gravity to center. And here it now you are able to see the frame layout with the image button here. All right. And let me also set the ID to capture image. Okay, button. And now we have the two uh, the XML ready for our project. And now we just need to go to our main activity and inside that activity first of all we need a camera uh, uh, object and make sure that you select this android dot hardware although it is uh, deprecated and uh, now the new api is the camera 2 api but this pro this project we will be using the deprecated uh, camera uh, api okay so here we can create the camera uh, object here uh, and inside our own create method we are going to access the camera or switch it on so here we can uh, create a method called get camera instance and we will create the method and what this method will do is okay so this method will okay let's make it uh, let's make it static and this method will open the camera and so here we can create another object and we make it null then we can say cam equal to camera dot open and inside that we can specify the front facing camera so here we can say camera dot camera info dot camera facing front all right and that is it i will and we need to return cam all right and also let's just put it in a try catch block and we set the catch as exception and we can print the exception here all right so here we have the we have now have the camera ready and 
now what we are going to do is we are now going to create a new class which is the, the camera preview class that will extend with the circular view and it will implement surface holder dot callback all right so here we ha we will have the the class so let's say public class camera preview extend recycler okay so here it is not the recycler view it is the surface view and we will try to implement and we will implement it with surface holder and here we have the surface holder dot callback okay and this is the class so first of all uh, every class have a default constructor so here we can generate okay so here let's generate okay so there is not the option so basically we can say public camera preview and here inside that we can pass first of all the context and then we can pass the camera variable object sorry okay so here it is saying an error so we will require the super method and here we can pass see and now the error is removed and after that we can pass okay so here we can have two objects so first of all we will have the camera object then after that we will have the surface holder object and we can name it as holder and inside the R class so we can simply say okay so let's try to change the name to cam cam okay and here we can say this dot cam equal to cam all right and after that we can also say holder equal to get holder okay and finally we can add the holder uh, the add callback and we can say add callback this all right and after that we can set the type of our holder so we can say holder dot set type and here we can pass the surface holder dot surface type push alright and then here we will have a couple of methods so here we will have three methods uh, surface created surface changed and surface destroyed okay so inside our own, uh, uh, inside our surface created method now we are going to create or set the orientation of our preview so here we can say if cam is not equal to null then what uh, to do so we will basically say cam dot set display orientation and it will be of 90 degree then we can say cam dot preview set preview display and here we can pass our holder then okay so it is saying an exception so we need to surround it with cache try cache block then inside our try cache we can also set and we can also start the uh, start the preview okay so here inside our own own uh, surface created method we will start the preview then we will come into the uh, the surface destroyed method so here we can say if cam is not equal to null then what it should do then it should stop the preview so we can say cam dot stop sorry stop preview all right and inside our own surface change method here we will also say to check 
if holder dot get surface is not equal to null then what it should do it should okay so if it is equal to null we will just return it all right and i guess that is enough okay so here after we stop the preview what we also need to do is we can say mcam dot stop preview then we can release it so we can say cam dot release and also we can say cam equal to null all right so i hope you have some understanding we have just created a new class which is the camera preview and it extend with surface view then we i added the uh, surface holder callback then we created the uh, the constructor implemented all the methods and inside our own surface cre created method we just set the orientation and it uh, started the preview and if the surface is changed so it uh, if the holder is null so we will just return it okay so inside our uh, surface destroyed method we check if the cam is not equal to null then we stop the preview and release it okay so i guess that is a bit simple and okay so now uh, i guess that is enough for uh, today so i hope that you have understood some concepts so uh, okay if you like the video please like share and subscribe